if you're not using email, uh, you need help with your digital strategy. Uh, email is much maligned, and, and some people will pass it off. But email is so much more than uh, you sending an e email to your fans saying, hey, I'm playing the Troubadour this weekend. It's, it's a way to engage with, with your fan base. Um, it's a way to regularly engage with them, um, and you can grow that list. But more importantly, it still works. Um, somebody might not see your tweet. Somebody may not be on Facebook uh, at the right time to see what you've posted. But an email um, will be in their box and they can you know, choose to open it or not or click through or not, but it's still viable. And then there's some other ways you can use email. You can partner with a publication that likes your particular genre of music. <clears throat> they typically have email blasts that you can pay to be in. Um, Amazon has email blasts that you can pay to be in. Um, there are companies bands all over the place, like exactly I bands love, in town. I was just going to mention them. Bands and towns. Yeah, they're one it, of my favorites. If you guys you know? are not using their promoter function on bands in town, go look for it right now. It is probably one of the easiest and best targeted email systems you can find right. out there and that's but, the key you said targeted. targeted you can't do that with amazon if you do something with amazon they choose who it goes to and you may not get reporting back that shows what the open rate and click through rate and all of that with bands in town it's just like the uh, insights on facebook you target who that email goes to and i believe it's something like five cents an email it's, but it's, it, it's yeah. It's well five, worth it's it. I, I've used it for a number of clients. It's five cents Me an too. email. Um, you basically just go in there and say, okay, I want to target what's the lo the geolocation. You can go right down to, a if you want, a city, a radius of a city, or you can do by country or state or, or anything like that. And then you start right. picking artists. All right, who, who have fans that should like you? Um, you know, can meet Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, The Who, Ozzy Osbourne, Kiss, Deep Purple. And then what Bands in Town does is it goes back into their database and finds fans who have signed up for email alerts for those, those artists fans. so that when that artist <laughs> says, I've got a show, this fan said, I want to be emailed. And yeah. Bands in Town will come back and say, oh, there's 100,000 emails in that location for those targets. And then you can pick however many you want to send to based on your budget. You can narrow that down and go, well, I can only afford to send to 2000. Okay, here you go, 2000 at five cents a piece, it's gonna cost you this much. And then it gives you an on, after you submit that, it gives you an online um, template. template that you fill out to promote, is it a show? Is it an event? Is it a record tour? release? Is it a record release? Keep that in mind. This is not only f to be used for just promoting shows. You could promote a new album. Right. I've got a new album that fans of Deep Purple should like. Well, let me send it to a Deep Purple fan. Even though that fan said I'm interested in Deep Purple tour dates, they're a fan of Deep Purple. Yeah. First and foremost. So they could be interested in your album. You put a picture in there, you put a copy in there, you put some form of call to action link in there, submit it, pay, Bands in Town sends it out, and you get a report back of how many were sent out, how many were opened, Open, how many were click clicked through. on. You can't get a targeted um, music email list any better than that. It works, and I, and I think, you know, with email, the, the kind of industry standard open rate, you know, is right around 15, 16 percent. That's how many people are actually going to open your email. And then a click through, somebody will actually click on the link inside of it is, you know, two to three percent. And that may sound low, but those are actually really good numbers. If you hit those numbers, that that's good. But I found with bands in town, I typically get double that. I'm 30 plus percent in the open rate, six, seven, eight, yep. nine percent in the click through rate. Um, because it's targeted, you know, if you send out an email to spam, you know, if, if it's to a million people, you're going to get maybe 1% who open that thing, you know, um, but this is so surgically, you know, targeted that you're going to get a better response and it's, it's not super expensive. You choose the budget just like with the Facebook boosting of the posts, 
you can have a very small budget and still reach people. I think the, I think the smallest, and maybe this has changed, but I want to say I thought the smallest was like $500. Yeah, I, that, I'm that not you, sure. You had to spend to do an email blast, or maybe it was a couple hundred dollars. I mean, you can't do a $10 campaign right. they, they won't go they won't go that low but uh, you know there is but it's a, certainly money well spent it's you money know. well spent keep in mind you don't own those emails they're not giving them to you you're right. you're basically renting an email address for one-time use you don't even see the email you don't the email address you'll see the email that goes out but you don't see here's all the email addresses of the people you're sending you never see that Right. And it's not spam. I get emails from bands in town every week, you know, basically like, oh, you know, since you're a fan of this artist, you know, you may like this or, you know, here are some other artists that are going to be in town or there's a listening party or whatever. And it, I never consider it spam because it's usually stuff that well, is pretty close I, to stuff it, I like. It wouldn't be spam because technically these people opted in to get emails. This this is not somebody blindly emailing them because they have a a matching interest. These are people who told bands in town, "I want to be emailed when this artist does something." Yeah. Yeah. Hence the high open rate.